Find the fourth order Taylor polynomial for cosine of x with center c equals pi over 3. So let's start off by writing the formula for the fourth order polynomial. That'll be f at the center plus 1 over 1 factorial times the derivative of at the center times x minus the center plus 1 over 2 factorial times the second derivative at the center times x minus the center squared plus 1 over 3 factorial times the third derivative at the center times x minus the center cubed plus the four, 1 over 4 factorial times the fourth derivative at the center times x minus uh, the center to the fourth power. And so this is because it's a fourth order polynomial. Now remember that our center for this new series is pi over 3. And so every one of the c's in this equation can be replaced by pi over 3. Now let's work on those coefficients. Our function is cosine of x. So if we evaluate it at pi over 3, we're going to get that f of pi over 3 is cosine of pi over 3, and cosine of a 60 degree angle is root, or 1 over 2, sorry. And that's going to be plugged in right here. Next, we need the first derivative. The derivative of cosine is negative sine of x. If we evaluate this derivative at the center, pi over 3, we're going to get negative times the sine of pi over 3, the sine of 60 degrees, is a root 3 over 2, so we have negative root 3 over 2, and this coefficient will go right here. Next, we have a second derivative. The second derivative of, of cosine, or the derivative of negative sine, is negative cosine of x. If we plug in pi over 3, we're going to get back what we had earlier. We have a negative 1 half, because that's the cosine of 60 degrees. This value can be replaced right here in the third coefficient. And then, let's see, a third derivative. The derivative of negative cosine will be negative negative sine, or positive sine. We evaluate that at pi over 3. We're going to get the sine of 60 degrees, which is root 3 over 2. We'll plug that into the third coefficient here. And then last, we have a fourth derivative. So the fourth derivative of cosine is, well, cosine all over again. If we evaluate uh, this at pi over 3, we're just going to get 1 half one more time, and that will go here. So there's our term, our polynomial. Let's clean it up. We get 1 half minus root 3 over 1 factorial times 2 times x minus pi over 3. The next one will be a negative 1 over, that's a 2 times a 2, x minus pi over 3 quantity squared. The next term will be a root 3 on the top and a 6 times 2 on the bottom times x minus pi over 3. And next we're going to have a positive 1 on top, 4 factorial is 24 times 2 times x minus pi over 3 to the fourth power. And there's our fourth order polynomial. Let's clean it up a little bit more so that we can read those coefficients a little better. We're going to have a 1 half minus root 3 over 2 times x minus pi over 3 minus 1 fourth times x minus pi over 3 quantity squared plus root 3 over 12 times x minus pi over 3 quantity cubed and last but not least, we're going to have 1 over 48 times x minus pi over 3 to the fourth power. Now remember, we're not going to f expand these things out. We just want to leave it in this form right here as the fourth order polynomial. Remember, this is also an approximation of cosine of x. And so this would be our answer right here. The fourth order Taylor approximation of cosine evaluated at pi over 4 is this.